OK, so we're going to use the topology tool now to uh, get our mesh together. Uh, now, as ever, you want your mesh to be quite even. Uh, but the problem we have is uh, the press are going to want more geometry than just about everything else. Um, so I'm going to start with points and faces and just start with the breasts and get them roughed in. I'm just going to use one sort of depth of polygon. That's not going to work. Two depths then. I'm going to square these up. Um, that's not too bad. Perhaps it needs a little bit more depth. So if I go to edges, let's move that down. That bottom one needs definitely more depth. Let's move that one down so it's about level. I want it roughly so that if I divided it into four, they would be roughly square. I don't want to get them elongated too much. OK. So now I'm just going to move some verts to square these up. Just do that until I'm about right. Now obviously some of these are going to have to taper a bit. But that's just you know, how it's going to be. OK. So that's not very square. OK, I'm just going to continue that round now. OK. Just going to split that one in two. Right, now I'm just going to work that down until I get to the bottom. So let's just kind of pop that in. I'm not happy with that, so I'm going to move that out. Okay, just sketch it all in. doesn't have to be too uh, exact to start with because when we do our relax that should help us a bit. Okay, let's do let's weld those up. Join these up at the front. Okay. Now if we 
could do a relax. We should sort of tighten it all up a bit. Okay. Now you can see here that, you know, while our polys are fairly consistent in terms of, you know, they're all in a line, uh, it's the same uh, number of polygons around the top as there are at the bottom, that the top's going to need more and the bottom is not going to need that much more. Uh, but to make the top work, we're going to need a lot more. Uh, um, a lot more polys. Now, if we just go in and add splits and uh, subdivide and do all that lot, uh, that is going to give us way more down here than we want, and probably just about enough up here uh, to make it work. So what I want to try and do is add more geometry to the breasts without adding more geometry down the bottom. And I'm going to do that uh, with some splits. So I'm just going to put a zigzag around here. There we go. There we go. And now we can go in and put some splits there. There. So we have more geometry around the breast, making them fit a bit better, um, and not so much around the sides, um, so it doesn't increase where we don't, but I'm going to put one there, 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 all the rest of it with um, with a subdivide I think yes okay so subdivide there we go and while this is sort of a little bit kind of messy uh, I think it's probably worth it uh, in terms of keeping this l as low as possible okay now the back. <coughs> now I'm going to demonstrate why sometimes it's better to displace the model. See these down here are uh, all offset against the mesh differently. Now to get these more defined we will need more geometry. So, if we added another level of subdivision, they start to come in a little bit better. As you can see, they're a little bit uh, jagged, so we would need another level to get it better. But it's only just better. So, if we did it one more level, <laughs> they're better, uh, and probably alright but everything else has gone nuts. Now, we could um, put in our triangles to try and make that <laughs> to try and make it um, work a bit better uh, but to be honest I don't think it's worth it in that case so I'm not going to be doing that at all. I'll do that on a displacement. Okay. But I'm going to add one more level of subdivision. That's only a thousand faces, that's next to nothing. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's good. So that's just about it for this point. The next time, what we're going to do is um, export this, line it up in Poser, uh, get our um, center corrected, uh, and then we'll add some detail in displacement. Okay.